I'm Laurie Thomas with the UK Department of Forestry and Natural Resources, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the Northern Red Oak. The Northern Red Oak is widespread and one of the most important oaks in our whole oak red oak group. It is a medium sized to large tree that typically grows 60 to 90 feet tall and up to two to three feet in diameter. Often considered one of the highest quality tree species in our upland forests, Northern Red Oak is widely distributed throughout much of the eastern United States and southeastern Canada. Northern Red Oak has recently flowered and some may still be flowering. It is monoecious, which means you will find both male and female flowers on the same tree. The male flowers are a drooping catkin and the female flowers are little spikes found in the axle of the leaf in the stem, as you can see in the photos here. Both appear with the leaves and the pollen from the male flower is carried by wind to the female flowers, typically on other trees. The leaves are by far the easiest characteristic to use for identifying oaks. Oaks can be tricky to identify. Northern red oak leaves are deciduous and alternately arranged on the stem, as you can see in the photo. They're about five to eight inches long with seven to 11 pointed lobes that have bristle tips the bristle tips on the lobes help distinguish red oaks from white oaks. The autumn color can be a beautiful bright red or sometimes just a reddish brown, but in general an attractive tree in the fall. The acorns are typically three-fourths to one inch long with a nearly round cap that resembles a, like a beret or a bottle cap, which covers about one-fourth or less of the acorn. The acorn without a cap has a very flat top. Red oak acorns mature over the course of two growing seasons, which means they'll be on that tree for two years, and drop in late summer or early fall, and they will not germinate until the following spring. Acorn production typically begins around 25 years of age, with best production more around the 50-year mark, and, and trees produce a good acorn crop every two to five years. The acorns are dropped or dispersed by birds um, and animals in the fall. Um, the gray squirrel, which is, a, um, which is a scattered hoarder, are very important for acorn dispersal and burial. And blue jays have been shown to be good long distance dispersers of red oak acorns, as you can see in this photo here. Northern red oak is our most valuable red oak. This species is an important source of lumber. It's close grained, heavy and hard. And the pores are so large and open, as you can see in the photo, that it's said that a person can blow into one end of the wood and air will come out of the other, provided the grain runs straight enough. The wood is used for flooring, cabinetry, and furniture. It's used for all kinds of stuff. It's like we said, a very important, very valuable hardwood. The wood makes excellent firewood because of its high fuel value. The national champion Northern Red Oak is in Washington, Virginia, and it was 285 inches in circumference, 131 feet tall, with a 116 foot crown spread. Kentucky's champion Northern Red Oak is at the Garden Club of Kentucky in Bourbon County. It's 181 inches in circumference, 96 feet tall, and has a 95 foot crown spread. If you want to know more about national champions, go to American Forest Champion Tree National Register or check out our state champions at the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. I hope you get the opportunity to get out in your neighborhood, the local park, or your woodland and enjoy the wonderful Northern Red Oak this year.